Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at a brand new format that I've done to Brick Plaza, which is basically re-changing the entire way that the city's layout is done. Obviously you can see a few of the big changes. Uh, I'll start from one end and then move my way down. We'll start over here. As you can clearly tell, I've moved the plaza area to a green base plate, added a bunch of the red flowers that used to be over there, which we'll get to in a second. And basically what that's done is it just made this entire thing look more oh, natural, like a farmer's market. So they've got, so I've, I've gotten rid of some of the, um, some of the stalls just to clear up space. So we have just the fresh fruit and produce, uh, also the pizza stand over there, and then the tables remain the same. It's just having some more, uh, re realistic value to that. I've tried to distance it from the rest of the city by using the fences, again that were over there, to just split it all the way down the middle, which really distanced this as like a separate thing from the city. Then the entire street's layout for the main road has been changed. Uh, as you might have known before, it used to be a turn that came in from one side and then turned off the other. Uh, at one point there was even like a little uh, crosswalk and now that's all gone. All of that now is just one simple road, nothing in the front here. All the bus stop area and everything has been removed. And it just makes it that this doesn't get hit. If it, anyone's brushing past this, nothing happens, nothing falls off. Which is good, but it also means that it feels a little bit emptier here. It also means that all these buildings have been brought forward, including the Sanctum Sanctorum being made the cornerstone building, which now takes up the main view. So if you walk in to the city and see it, you can see that it really is a main uh focal point of this entire city. And then I've started to make the buildings kind of start to slope down as they go along. Have the tallest ones at the front. Uh, it was difficult to get the corner right for this. I actually had to have a very elaborate set of um, pieces to make that work. So I've had to like put things on angles and uh, use studs with holes in the middle and all kinds of things to get this looking how it is now. And then of course, even the sidewalks um, rates along the edges has to be redone here and it looks pretty good otherwise i don't know about the way that this looks the road is, otherwise the way the buildings are and the way that the plaza is i like but the road just seems a little emptier and i don't know if i'm great with it so this may not be a permanent way that the city's reformatted in this corner i want to fill in this area where the turn is again using uh different studs to just place it along the full way across. It has a really nice curve here now that I had to, t it took me a while to get perfectly right. But yeah, this little area is using those fences that were used previously to separate the plaza. That's just to make a nice uh, diagonal straight there. And it, all it does is just have a separate hot dog cart with a little newsstand and a light. It's just a cute little thing that uh, fills in some empty space. Otherwise, going down, I don't think there's much else that I've really added in since the last video. It's mainly just changing the way that it's laid out. But again, I just want to try something new. I don't think this is going to be permanent. I am looking for suggestions on how I can make the city look good and also have more interesting things going on. Because this flat, just single row of buildings, it's not as interesting or dynamic. Especially without anything in the frontier to add layers to it, add like a foreground and a background. Otherwise, I think that's about it for the city. Everyone's being repositioned and there's not really anything new that's going to be added for a while. It's mainly just working out the formatting. I might extend the table that it's on eventually, but I like the way that it is now. Definitely leave me suggestions on how I can improve it. Otherwise, that's all I have to say for this video. Have a nice day.